Star Drive 117.8 You soaring up with sky, now's the time, don't delay I'm sitting in my ride and it's time to fly So let's realign, just listen and fill your mind Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tuesday, February 28th And this is the Morning Star Drive on 117.8 We're on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe, follow us on SoundCloud And make sure to support us on Patreon so what is happening on this amazing and awesome Tuesday? We've got current news from around the world, the practical word study, and of course, Pravi in the media. All right, everyone, how are you doing today? Yes, it is a wonderful Tuesday and the last day of the month. So I hope you guys will enjoy your February. Take a look back at all the different things that you've done and what can we do moving forward for March. So I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Monday is in the books. Just super thankful for all of you guys joining us here on the Morning Star Drive. So keep liking and commenting if you're in front of your phone right now. Make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. All right. So, uh... It is the last day of the month, and I've, you know, well, of course, uh, in, in two days we have Q and A Thursday, so go ahead and get your questions ready for this week. It's one of the most popular segments we have. I enjoy it too, and I hope that if you have any really, you know, real life questions, practical questions, relationship questions, whatever it is, go ahead and leave it in the comments or DM me. All right, um, uh, YouTube Shorts. Uh, YouTube Shorts, you're not going to see it here uh, on this channel right now. I moved them over to Espresso with Sky, so please make sure to see them on that side. All right. So if you are looking for, forward to those YouTube shorts, I moved them to the Espresso with Sky channel. Uh, first one is already out. Second one should be already out by now too. So please make sure to see them on that side. So just subscribe to Espresso with Sky and those daily faith tips will be coming out on, the, on that side too. And the main reason I'm switching it over, like I told you uh, yesterday, um, I didn't know this, but the, the shorts are attracting a lot of eyes to this channel, which is kind of more of a private mainly for members channel, right? So that's why I moved those shorts to Espresso with Sky. You know, I, I want to keep this channel more towards us and uh, all, all of us in the same church. And, uh, you know, there's going to be some misunderstandings where people are going to listen to something and say like, hey, what does that mean? And, you know, I don't want to be explaining things over and over and over again, right? So uh, for the Daily Faith Shorts, please subscribe on that channel to see. Uh, those daily faith shorts coming up every single day, except for the weekends, I believe. And the first one and second one, second one should be up today uh, within the next, what, two and a half hours around 8 a.m. in Malaysia time, which is uh, 7 a.m. in Korea. No, 9 a.m. in Korea, right? So uh, uh, go ahead, check it out over there. Uh, so yeah, everything, all the daily shorts are being moved over to uh, the other side, Espresso with Sky. So if you're here for the daily shorts, go ahead, move over to Espresso with Sky over there. Lots of content when it comes to, uh, you know, the Bible, faith and stuff like that too, all right? So it is the last day of February. And uh, I have a quick question for all you guys out there. I, you know, guys, you guys can comment below is, I'm wondering if you guys have any rituals or like something you do when it comes to the ending of a month and beginning of a new month. You know what I mean? Like I know that, you know, days and weeks, they go by really quick. But months are a little bit longer. There's only 12 in a year. And, you know, when you have this big uh, change from like say February to March, you know, it kind of allows us to have a reset in our brains, right? It allows you to reset and, you know, you can kind of get out of the funk that you were in last month and if, if you weren't doing well, but it kind of allows you to kind of flip into a new month and say, you know what, I'm going to do better in this new month too. So I'm just wondering if you guys have anything in your heart, um, uh, anything that you do that kind of allows you to switch your mind or your heart to say that I'm going to leave everything in February behind and move into March for a new month. I'm just wondering, curious if you guys have any of those different types of things. Not, not sure if you do or not, but if you do, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. And oh man, you know, I'm not sure what it is. My nose is still clogged. I've been eating meds, been getting rest. And like the, the one medicine that everyone keeps telling me to get called Clarinase over here, it's sold out everywhere. I guess it's like allergy season or something like that. But so for me, I'm eating my meds, like these generic brands of Clarinase and getting rest and drinking only a little bit of coffee. Like I'll tell you how small I'm drinking. I'm drinking like three cups. I drank three cups of coffee in the last week. Right. So that's a, you know, I, I'm, I'm really, really cutting it down. So I'm hoping to get better before I head to Bangkok uh, tomorrow. Right, so tomorrow I'm heading to Bangkok. So then you're gonna see the podcast for Thursday and Friday in uh in I'm gonna be recording them in Bangkok on that on those days. So 
uh, please pray for my nose. I want to have a good vacation. And the one thing I need to pray for my nose is I need to smell my food so I can taste the good food in Thailand. And if I can't, it's going to be such a bummer. What a, not a waste of money because I'm going to have a lot of good coffee there too. But if you guys know anything about Thailand, go ahead and leave some um, DM uh, comments below on places that you must go in Bangkok. All right? Uh, and just a lot of you guys, uh, just kind of, you know, we have Pravi in the media coming up pretty, you know, we're going to do that a little bit later today. We're going to talk about, uh, one of the articles that came out on this temporary injunction that's going to happen today. The, the court trial is today about whether that Netflix, uh, the show will come out or not. And, uh, you know, if it does come out, I will be watching it and I will be updating it on this channel here. So if you, you know, if you don't want to watch it, but you just want to know what's going on, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you like what's going on. Like, oh, it's like this and this. This is what happened there. And uh, I want to be able to uh, tell you guys just, you know, this is the content of what was uh, in that show and stuff like that too, right? So, uh, you know, uh, actually, there's something cool that happened the other day too. Remember I told you the other uh, yesterday that I, there's a member who heard the rumors was really affected by it. And then now after hearing the full process of everything else, like, oh, okay, and they're, they're okay now. But uh, one of the things that's uh, helping this member is actually seeing things, to see things more rationally and reasonably, is I showed him the articles from Massimo, Massimo Introvigne, which is the sociologist in religion, and uh, the articles that he wrote on Providence and other new religious movements from around the world. And when he, the way he writes is very unbiased from a sociologist's point of view. And I think his articles are super helpful because it's not biased, but looking at it from a sociologist's point of view. And I think that's very beneficial, right? Especially in a world where you have people are either on one side or the other. You're on one extreme or the other, and it's hard to find people coming from a, a different perspective or point of view. But when you get someone from a professional perspective, uh, it really changes things. So I do recommend his articles also on, uh, is it called bitterwinter.com, I think, right? Right? So uh, go ahead and check those out. But I think it's a very, very big help. And especially, you know, uh, if you're someone working in that field, it's even more eye-opening to say, oh, this is what, what's going on in that too. Either way. All right? So, uh, uh, oh, the poll. The poll's looking pretty good, guys. Um, so far, the prayer topics you guys have, number one is 50% of you wants... Uh, prayer for your faith, 25% of you on your health, and then 6% splitting between finance relationships. And the comments I've gotten so far of what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, prayer you guys want, some of you said all of them, right? So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good and it helps, it also helps out uh, Tuli as she does a prayer podcast for this week too. All right. So once again, reminder to everyone, the Daily Faith Shorts, those 60-second videos are now on Espresso with Sky, not on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to that channel and watch the Daily Faith uh, Shorts on that side, right? So uh, Kiera Daniel Lee over there in Florida, make sure you go to the Espresso with Sky one to see the Daily Shorts because I... I uh, Today, there's going to be something on repentance. I'm going to do, you know, there are only going to be little bits and pieces, but I'm going to do more and more about repentance too. All right. So let's get uh, into some member artists from around the world. And today's feature artist of the day on this awesome Tuesday, it's going to be Nature from Dia Wings in Korea. And this is one of her uh, solo songs she did called More More. And then after that, we have the Sunbeam Boys from America with Nothing Could Go Wrong. And we'll end things off with Renee Lai from Taiwan with Master of My Own. I thought of a murk, so I won't ever thought ever was a friend for myself. All the day, I don't just sang last, you have to like, hang with it, I'm gonna say, Joe, eh? Is it not a silly? Could you jog and get in good up? Pick it to him, she don't. Mamma, no, she don't. If you jog and go, she don't. No, I got you, got a ship. Oh, can you get to follow? You can get an hour. Hello, all I need is hello, love the hello. Yeah, she could also say, So, give my gang a go. Do my gang, she have a rumor, dog, your spot on. To pull my little. What's going on? 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 What's going on?
하길 뗐다고 진절머리 뭘 do it? Uh, it's better What's going on? 고기 향이 나도 기르다고 뭘 do it? Oh, it's better yeah. What's going on? 뭘 했다고 하길 뗐다고 진절머리 뭘 do it? Uh, it's better yeah. What's going on? 고기 향이 나도 기르다고 
That was Master of My Own. That's from Renee Lai in Taiwan. Before that, nothing could go wrong with the Somni Boys from America. And of course, featured arts of the day. That is Nature from Dio Wings in Korea with more, more. All right, so let's get into some news going on around the world. And like I've always said, as brides of this history and understanding the power of prayer, we need to pray for this world, we need to repent for this world, but we need to know what's going on. So let's first start off with things going on in Italy. Italy migrant boat, boat shipwreck. Nearly 60 people were killed off at the Calabria coast. At least 59 immigrants, including 12 children, have died, and dozens more are feared missing after their boat sank in rough seas off southern Italy. The vessel broke apart while trying to land near Crotone on Sunday. Migrants from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Somalia, and Iran were on board. A baby was among the dead, Italian officials said. Interior minister who visited the scene said as many as 30 people may still be missing. Bodies were recovered from the beach at a nearby seaside resort in the Calabria region. The Coast Guard said 80 people had been found alive, including some who managed to reach the, sh the shore after the sinking. The exact number of people who were on the boat 
which had sailed from Turkey several days ago, is not clear. Rescue workers told the AFP news agency that the vessel had been carrying more than 200 people, which would mean more than 60 people are unaccounted for. And many of the migrants were fleeing very difficult conditions, Italy's president said. So big prayers out to... Uh, all the families that are affected by the deaths of these people, you know, trying to leave their terrible situations and going to a better country. On second news, Mexico has protests going on. Huge crowds rally against uh, electoral reform. Huge rallies have been held in several Mexican cities against what protesters say are government attempts to undermine the electoral authorities. The biggest was in Mexico City, where organizers say 500,000 people marched on the city's main plaza. The local government put the number at 90,000. Lawmakers last week voted to slash the budget of the National Electoral Institute and cut its staffing. President Andres Manuel López Obrador accuses the INE of being partisan, but opponents describe the recent vote as an attack on democracy itself, pressing the Supreme Court to overturn them as un unconstitutional. On Sunday, massive crowds gathered in Mexico City's historic Zocala Square. Uh, the demonstrators spilled out into adjoining streets in the city center. So uh, there's more... Uh, protests on democracy as like Israel is doing the is going through that same thing too when they're you know trying to give more power to the government to elect these judicial officials right so uh, let's just hope that the prayers and uh, whatever happens it is according to God's will last but not least we will go to Israel but a good sign is Israel and Palestinians agree steps to curb violence Israel has agreed to stop the author uh, authorization of illegal settlements uh, settlement outposts in the occupied West Bank for six months a joint statement says Israeli and Palestinian officials have pledged to implement measures to de-escalate surging violence after talks in Jordan. In a joint statement at the end of the meeting in the Red Sea resort of Aqaba on Sunday, Israeli and Palestinian officials said they would work closely to prevent further violence and that they reaffirmed the necessity of committing to de-escalation on the ground. Israel was committed to stop discussing setting up any new settlement units for four months and stop approving any new settlements for six months, a joint statement said. And after thorough and frank discussions, the Palestinian and Israeli sides reaffirmed the need to commit to de-escalation on the ground and to prevent further violence. So this is great news that more and more people are not going to die uh, from this situation over there. Let's just hope that, you know, quickly as possible, they can get those situations all handled with when it comes to the West Bank, which I don't think is going to be uh, a short-term thing, right? It's been like that for, you know, for how many decades, not even decades, for centuries, right? Uh, last, we have sporting news. In sporting news, uh, we'll start with boxing, where uh, there was that big YouTuber, Jake Paul. Uh, he fought in a boxing match against a real boxer, Tommy Fury, and Jake Paul loses. First loss with a split decision win. Jake Paul's unbeaten streak in boxing has come to an end. Tommy Fury, the half-brother of heavyweight great Tyson Fury, beat Paul, uh, the YouTuber turned prize fighter, via split decision in a close bout on Sunday in Saudi Arabia. NBA news. Someone else puts up 70 points. Damian Lillard of the Portland Trailblazers scores 71 points behind 13 three-pointers. He sets a franchise and career high with 71 points, 13 three-pointers, as they uh, defeated the Houston Rockets 131 to, to 114, which means he accounts for more than 50% of the points. Lillard became the eighth different player to score 70 points in NBA history. At age 32, he's the oldest player in NBA history with a 70-point game and the only player age 30 or older to accomplish the feat. Uh, in other news, uh, Atlanta Hawks have hired Quinn Snyder. He gets a five-year deal to coach the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, they didn't disclose the terms, but um, in the past, they were saying that it's going to be somewhere around the $8 million mark. So if it's five years, that's what? That's $40 million, and he's the coach, right? So uh, interesting news. A big congratulations to Quinn Snyder. In soccer news, Manchester United beats Newcastle to win the Carabao Cup and they end a six-year trophy drought. Man U ended their six-year wait for silverware as they beat Newcastle 2-0 to win the Carabao Cup at Wembley Stadium on Sunday. United last won a major trophy in their 2017 Europa League campaign but looked comfortable in their display against Eddie Howe's side as Casemiro's header and a Marcus Rashford goal gave Newcastle too much to overcome in their first League Cup final appearance since 1976. Uh, also another news, Messi, you know, just won the World Cup. He nets his 700th club goal in PSG romp over Marseille. And yes, he scores one goal. Mbappe scores two goals and they win 3-0 over their bitter rivals, Marseille. And now uh, PSG moves to 60 points. 
uh, from 25 games with the second place Marseille at 52 points. All right. So there it is, guys. That's the top three news in sports and news from around the world. Hope it helps you guys out when it comes for you praying for the entire world. But you know what that means then? It is the golden time. Yes, this is the golden time, a time of praise and worship to the Holy Trinity. Hope all of you guys are looking forward to giving glory to God and the Holy Spirit. So, what are we going to praise and worship today? We're going to start off with So Awesome and then Paradise, and we'll break things down with Tremendous Grace. So, as one body of the Morning Star Drive, let's spend this time giving praise, honor, and glory to the Holy Trinity. I raise my level with the Lord always until forever When we don't know what's boring since I know I'm all in in my heart and my mind and my thoughts and actions I change through the Lord's charisma And I'm deeply rooted in this history I'm always the ace, I won't be shaken Word is the basic who you can't mistake it Thank you. 
My God, my groom eternally praise His ways. I respond with thanks to Simon and the love of a bride. To the heavens of the glory, glory on high. We have been longing for the rapture. It is God's dream and ours. With the Lord's great condition and love rapture is finally fulfilled. This time of love with the Lord is not my true blessing. I love for how long? Eternity. With every ounce of fruit of the Lord's deep love. This joyful celebration of our rapture. Oh. I'm on this bright one stage. My spirit is shining all day. My God, my groom eternally praise His ways. I respond with thanks, excitement, and the love of a bride. To the heavens, all for glory, glory on high. We have been longing for the rapture. It is God's dream and ours. With the Lord's great condition, and love rapture is finally fulfilled. This time of love with the Lord is now my true blessing. I love for how long? Eternity.
That is one of my favorite songs. That is Tremendous Grace. Before that, Paradise, and of course, So Awesome. So now that our hearts are made and prepared, ready through the time of praise and worship, let's get into today's practical word study. How do we put these this week's words of God into practice? And it's something that all of us should be thinking about uh, once we hear that Sunday message. So this week's message is about the word and prayer, talking about the power and authority that comes from both of those things. So I've, I've uh, obviously split them up into those two parts. And the first part of the practical word study I want to talk about is how do we put the, the, the authority and power of the word into action this week? All right, so what I'm going to do for you guys today is I'm going to actually post uh, two of my videos that you guys can watch. It's really, really, uh, it's going to be helpful when it comes to understanding the word and the history of God, Okay. So the first video is going to be uh, about the six key principles. Okay, what does that mean? Well, six key principles is just talking about these big principles that are in the Bible that will allow you to answer almost every single question in the Bible, right? So if you were to take all the, the, the lessons that we've learned in Bible study and you shrink them down into what types of principles do we use to answer these parables, to answer this question or here, and that's the exact same principles that I use every time I go out uh, to figure out uh, the questions that people ask me, right? There are six key principles. Like I'll give you a key principle all of us know, which is the principle of uh, miniaturization and magnification. That's that's one of them. Another one is like the principle of repeating history. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, uh, this video here, it's about 55, 56 minutes, but it allows you to look at, oh, this is how, um, if you were to take all the Bible lessons, put them into one section and say, how does this all work together? There are six key principles that I've, that I've figured out or I found. And, you know, they're taught in the Bible study, but you'll realize it's used everywhere in the Bible, right? So there's the first one that I want you guys to watch. The second one uh, is, you know, we're supposed to learn about history, like the Bible history. What's the history of God? And I do have a video on my channel uh, called uh, Prophets and Kings. And this actually goes throughout the history where uh, from the time of uh, King Saul uh, all the way to David and Solomon, all of the kings that came out, it's going to give you a brief history of how all those kings, those prophets and kings were working together. Uh, and of course, it's not going to be super detailed, but you're going to get a better idea of history when Israel finally became a nation. All right. So those two videos, I will leave in the description below. You guys can take a look at them. It's going to be very, very good for you when it comes to knowing the word. One is about the principles and one is about Bible history. Of course, there's another one, a history lesson. That's something that you could probably watch on Patreon or something else like that, too. All right. So those two videos, I think, are going to be very, very helpful when it comes to understanding the word better, understanding the history of God better. All right, so I'll leave those description, uh, those links in the description below. Now, the second practical word study that we're going to work on today is going to be about, about prayer. So the big question we're going to ask now is, well, how can we put the words of God, the, the practical word study is making it practical. How are we going to realize the power of prayer, right? And I thought that, about that to myself, like, what, what can we do to really realize the power of prayer? And the only way to realize is through prayer. But then if I just say, let's pray more, it doesn't really impact us like, oh, now I get it. But one thing I thought that would enable us to really understand the power of prayer is, you know, when, when, when the word is telling us to realize the power of prayer is not just us praying, but is us seeing the result of that prayer. Which means my practical word study for everyone today is pray for something specific. Pray for it, right? I'm serious about this too. If you, you, know, if you really want to know the power of prayer, start a prayer condition on something, right? Like something that's a little bit, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be something so huge like I want $10 billion, that kind of thing. But something that you think is, it's kind of possible, but it's really hard to reach and maybe it's not going to happen within the next like couple of weeks or whatever it is. 
and set that prayer condition and start asking for that one thing, right? Pray about it three times a day, two times a day, even one time a day, whatever it is, set that condition and start really praying just for that one thing. Pick that thing and just pray for it for, you know, for the next week, for the next two weeks and, and see how the power, power of prayer happens, right? Because if we want to see the power of prayer, we got to see God in action and we got to pray for it. And if God loves us and that's something that's, that's, that God wants to give us, that's something that has to happen, right? And remember, especially this week's message or every week's message, when God delivers the message from the pulpit, God must or God will deliver. He'll work even more fiery, of course, unless you're asking for like someone's death or something that's like completely out of God's will. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we got to be reasonable with it too. It's not going to be like you know, stop the, stop the Ukraine war tomorrow, right? You know, it can't be like this. It's got to be something where it's like, oh, what's something that's, you know, I want to see the power of prayer. So there's, some, there's something that I, I really think that uh, uh, if this happens, I can see the power of prayer and I pray even more from this too, right? So that's going to be my big thing for when it comes to power of prayer. The only way we'll know the power of prayer is when we actually see it come to fruition. So if we want that to happen, what do we need to do? Pick something, pick something, you know, depending on your level of prayer right now, something small, could be medium, could be big, depends what, you know, where you're at right now. Pick that thing and start praying. Like just start praying for it and get that condition out so that we'll be able to say, oh, that was, you know, wow, this is the power of prayer. And once you get a taste of the power of prayer, you'll start praying for bigger and bigger things or you'll pray even more during that time, right? So those are the two things that I'm going to recommend for this week when it comes to the practical word study. Two things. Number one is I have those two videos that I'm going to put the links below. The first one is going to be on the six key principles, like basically taking all the the, the Bible studies we've learned and taking out the key core principles that are used to answer those questions. Very, very good one. And the second one is Kings and Prophets and this knowing Bible history too. So go ahead, uh, watch those two videos. I'd love to see what you guys think about those also. And if you've learned anything, go ahead and leave them in the links below or in the comments below too. And for the prayer, to know the power of prayer, we need to see it actually work, right? Start that prayer condition. However, time, however many times you want to do it per day, but get that one thing in your heart and mind that you want to be fulfilled. All right? So there it is, guys. That is today's Practical Word Study. A little bit short, but these are two... Remember, this is not about actually just listening to a lecture. Practical Word Study is about how do we put the words of God into action this week. All right? So there you go. I hope you guys really enjoyed that, just as I have when I think about these practical things for word study. And I hope it's something that you guys will really, really enjoy and put it into action to see God's, uh, God's power and authority that comes from the word and prayer. All right? So that leads us into uh, the song of choice for today. And uh, I, I love this song, brand new song that I've been listening to. This is from Maverick City and Upper Room. And this song is basically, it's a fun song. It's really vibrant. It's called I Thank God. And of course, this is something that all of us have to do. Everyone, please welcome Maverick City and Upper Room with I Thank God.
to save you Because he healed my heart Changed my name Forever free I love to sing I thank the master I thank the Savior I thank God And what a fun song, and what a great, meaningful song, I Thank God. That is Maverick City and Upper Room with I Thank God, all right? So uh, now that we have that last song out of the way, let's get into today's uh, last segment, which is Pravi in the Media. And I do want to go over an article, and I think it's something that all of us, if you're listening to this early in the morning, uh, we really, really need to pray for this one situation. The court, uh, the proceeding is coming, is happening today. The decision will be made today. And I'm going to go over that article Um uh, that talks about the situation right now of the temporary injunction, right, or provisional injunction, right. So, uh, so uh, the it's it's from Naver, right, and it's all in Korean. So I'm kind of translating it for you guys. Uh, but it, it talks about uh, Sunstein who applied for a provisional injunction to ban the broadcasting on the Netflix documentary. So an application for an injunction to ban broadcasting has been filed against a documentary about. Uh, CGM, a religious organization that is being released on Netflix. It is the first time that a request for injunction has been filed for Netflix original content. So on the 23rd, so just about a week ago, it was reported that uh, Sunseam and uh, Sunseam and CGM submitted an application for a provisional injunction against NBC and Netflix to the Seoul Western District Court on the 17th. And the hearing will be held on the 28th, which is today, because uh, it has to be done soon because it's supposed to be released on Friday, right? So uh, the it's called I Am God, which is known as a documentary about illegal activities, uh, uh, illegal activities inside the organization of, of about three or four different organizations, right? So NBC participated in the production and the producer who dealt with the case uh, with Sunstein in the NBC Current Affairs program uh, was in charge of directing. And the documentary series consists of eight episodes, right? And uh, it's known that it includes testimonies that have not been made public in relation to the case uh, against Sunstein right now. So that's why they're doing temporary injunction. It could, you know, it could very well, uh, uh, what do you call it, persuade or change the public opinion or make the public opinion even worse while the trial is going on. So they are saying that, you know, it's better to wait till everything is done. Right, wait, wait till everything is done, and then you can send it out. But it's probably going to hurt the trial more than anything else when it comes to if it's if it's actually done right now. So, uh, this is something we really need to pray for. Uh, I hope that everyone will pray for this situation. I know I talked a little bit about it yesterday, but let's really, really pray that uh, God will work on this so that we can, you know, that we'll really be able to. Uh, Find the truth first. We'll be those uh, that will, you know, supporting and praying for this. And I hope that all of us will really, really understand how important this is also. Because, you know, this, you know, it's a Netflix original, which means the whole world gets it. And it's something that's going to affect everyone. So we have to be those and understand this, uh, that this is something that we're going to have to deal with anyways eventually. But the bigger thing that's more important is, is how it affects the trial that's ongoing right now. And we don't, you know, we're already working an uphill battle. But once this comes out, the uphill battle is going to be even steeper. So I really, really hope that the courts see this as a fair provisional injunction and that they don't uh, release it. All right. So uh, that is the prayer, guys. I hope everyone really, really prays about it. There's a lot to think about. A lot, you know, a lot of, you know, all the rumors and, and stuff going on, people leaving, whatever it is. But we have to be strong. We have to be steadfast. We have to be those pillars that will stand in the church, right? And that will make sure that no matter what happens, no matter how hard it gets, we will be the pillars that will stand firm. All right. So there it is, guys. That is probably the media. I hope it's, you know, it's very, very short today uh, because. Oh, I'm not even sure because oh, it's it's just only one small article, but more uh, more so, we need to pray for this provisional injunction. Pray for it that it works out in the right in our favor too, and I'll hopefully be able to report about it for tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's like I'll talk about it in tomorrow, whatever the the actual uh, whatever the actual decision is. So guys, pray for it now. Like maybe this will be the big prayer. We'll pray for it three times. Pray for it. You know, yesterday we talked about it yesterday. Pray for it again today. Pray it again and again. Pray it for multiple times until it actually uh, finishes, and then we'll see the the results of our prayer for tomorrow. And I think that's a great prayer condition or prayer project for all of us here too. And I hope it really, really turns out. All right. So there it is, guys. That is the end of probably in the media and the end of today's show. It's a little bit short today, but I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Everyone, once again, remember the YouTube shorts 
Soaps is now on the Espresso with Sky channel and not on this channel here. And I hope you guys will really enjoy those too. Everyone have an amazing and awesome day. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow on the Morning Star Drive on 117.8. The morning star drive on 17.8. You saw up with sky, now's the time, don't delay. I'm sitting in my ride and it's time to fly. So let's realign, just listen and fill your mind. I'm burning with desire and the passion. Nobody can stop me when I'm like.